security is usually thought of as safety, right? Absolute safety. People don't feel that you have security unless you're protected absolutely from some kind of threat. Well, we're never protected absolutely from any kind of threat. I mean, things happen, bad things happen. Uh, it's better to think of security as a kind of resilience or a capacity to absorb the surprises and the shocks that come at you. And we don't do that. And it means we have unrealistic expectations about what security policies can do. We have unrealistic expectations about the level of security that governments can provide for us. And so we become unsettled and we become politically demanding when we have these unrealistic expectations. During the Cold War, we always thought of state security as the security problem. And avoiding nuclear war between the superpowers was the overwhelming concern. So people who studied security focused almost exclusively on that. As the Cold War was winding down, people began to think, well, perhaps we should think more broadly about security. And one of the first moves was an important piece in the Journal of Foreign Affairs by Jessica Matthews, in which she argued that we should possibly start thinking about environmental security. Uh, and people began to think in different directions about what kinds of things are threatened by what and how do we protect the things that we care about. And over the past 20 years, there's been this proliferation of conceptions of security. So that when you talk about security now, uh, it's not true anymore that you're just talking about international security or the security of states from armed attack. We talk about environmental security, in other words, protecting the planet from human-induced climate change. We talk about, uh, we still talk about state security, but we talk about intrastate security. We talk about cultural security. Uh, some people talk about societal security. We talk a lot about human security. We've done that since 1994. And uh, so security now is a very multi-layered, somewhat confusing concept. And of course, each of these aspects of security, each of these security problems relates to the others in a complex kind of way so that when you try to solve one security problem, you might actually wind up making another one worse. So security used to be a tractable, analytically tractable problem back during the Cold War. It's now become a very confusing concept.